Now I've just been planting some Goliath lilies, great big ones. But there's other varieties, especially the pixie ones, which are dwarf growing. And they don't need any staking, they'll grow beautifully in pots. In fact, they're best in pots, but they'll grow beautifully in pots. Now all you've got to do is the bottom of your pot, same as the others, a few crocks in the bottom or pebbles, just allows the drainage to go away, keeps them, the compost moist but not wet. A good layer of compost, because lilies do like a rich, good compost. This is just multi-purpose, nothing special. Tamp it down and then you're set to go. Now these lilies are lovely. They'll probably go a foot 15 inches high and have some beautiful flowers on. You can buy mixtures or collections of them, or you can buy them as individuals. These are five in a pack. Now this pot size that I'm using here will probably take three good ones. It's called Butter Pixie. Now it's a yellow one and beautiful. You plant that, give it a good layer of compost on the top. And in two months time, you'll end up with some lovely flowers. Now I happened to plant some two months ago. Butter Pixie, yellow. Now those are about to, ready to burst with flower. There's 10 flowers per stem and you can grow exactly this. They'll open out, they'll last for ages. They're beautiful. What more could you ask for for a plant? A beautiful thing. Collections always save you money. But there are lots more short stemmed Asiatic lilies. Not just the Butter Pixie, there's Orange Pixie as well. Apollo, which is a lovely, lovely white one. Red carpet, vibrant red. Pink Pixie, that's a lovely thing, really beautiful pink. But what about something completely different? Lollipop. A small pink tipped creamy yellow flowers. I tell you what, absolutely ideal for your patio. None of them grow above two feet. Beautiful things, no staking. Oh, I tell you, you really will be happy with these. And in uh, a month, six weeks, that's what you end up with. Dwarf pixie lilies, dwarf Asiatics, I think they're called. They're beautiful. In a pot like that, you can, uh, you can look after them and they grow on. But why not try something different? What about in a border? Look at that. See? It's as simple and as easy as that. You pop that in and in there. Can you imagine? In fact, you don't have to imagine because you come back in, say, a month's time, six weeks, this is going to be a complete mass of colour. Beautiful. It's going to look really special. And think what you can do in a little area like this, just to have that hit just once a year. It's going to be utterly brilliant. 